what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to talk a little bit about uh, green and growing plants as far as natural browse for deer and wildlife and also we're going to talk about how to secretly attract deer to your property we're getting into that green and growing season where everything's starting to lush up green up bud out and you know everything's starting to grow uh, it's starting to get warm temperatures out it's that good time of year where everybody's working on food plots uh, they're planting, you know, soybeans or clovers and this, that, and the other. And it's just a good time to get out there to work on your property. Working on your property and attracting deer takes more than just one thing. Now, I like hunting small properties because it's a major challenge. Also, because in this area, that's pretty much what I'm limited to uh, within my, you know, around my house and, and where I live. So I like getting on these small properties to see what I can get out of it and I try to attract the most deer as I possibly can. One thing on small properties is typically you're around a lot of other uh, houses, backs up to a lot of other properties and possibly other hunters. So a lot of times on these small pieces like this, you, you can't plant food plots uh, as far as you know a quarter acre, eighth of an acre, half an acre, they're just too big and you, you don't have the room for it. The landowner doesn't have the property size to do that. So you have to find alternative methods. For myself, I don't necessarily like dumping, you know, like corn piles and, and minerals on the dirt. Uh, to me, it just doesn't make sense to do that. I like to try to do things as naturally as possible. As you guys know, I'm a huge advocate of uh, antler grow, which is a micronutritional mineral that's sprayed on natural browse and food plots, which the plants absorb. So in turn, you're making healthier, uh, more palatable plants for the deer to consume because as we know deer consume on natural browse green growing plants five to seven pounds of it if it's available within your area on a daily basis think of that guys five to seven pounds depending you know it could be six pounds four pounds depending on the time of the uh, year that it is and how much you know their body needs but roughly you could say four to seven pounds of that on a daily basis that is a lot of green growing plants so by creating a healthier more palatable food source you're going to be able to attract deer to specific areas and even though the area may be small and they may not be necessarily living here if you can create a healthier food source that just gives them an extra reason to cruise through your property for deer to visit small properties uh, without food plots and without uh, really any reason you know bait piles and this that and the other we have to create that healthier food source. And by doing that, we're gonna do it secretly. Now, what I mean by that is, you don't want your neighbors to know what you're doing on your property because a lot of times, if, you, if they see food plots, if they see a bait pile, they're gonna to try to hunt your area and they know, you know that, that you're trying to do something. So they may counteract that with something else on their property. So by using antler grow, you can spray that and nobody knows what you're doing. You're gonna spray that on all the green and growing plants and nobody's gonna know what you're doing. So you're secretly gonna attract those deer because deer are attracted to the most healthiest palatable plant they can find. Obviously deer aren't gonna consume every species of plant. There are over 700 different species of natural browse that deer will feed on that across the country. So um, yes, they're not gonna feed on everything, but if you can walk your property, do some scouting, see what the deer are nibbling on, browsing on, then you can spray that. And there are some species of plants that you can spray that deer will be more likely to eat. Um, again, they're not gonna eat everything and there's no silver bullet. And I think that, you, that, that we do as far as attracting deer, but this is one way that you can do that makes sense to me because again, they eat four to seven pounds of it on a, on a daily basis. And you can do this secretly uh, on your property and not let any of your neighbors know what you're doing. Now as far as mixing this goes, it's always one ounce per gallon of water. Um, no matter if you're spraying in a one gallon pump sprayer or a four gallon backpack sprayer or a helicopter. Doesn't matter, it's always one ounce of product per gallon of water. We want to focus more on the micronutritional part of it, which is the antler grow, but um, we're also gonna use the MPK as beneficial values as well, but it's more important for the micros to be in there. Um, we're just gonna put that MPK in there just for a little little extra boost. Um, you don't need it, but it's definitely recommended, uh, but you definitely wanna focus more on those micros. Spraying and mixing is pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna, for this case here on this small property, it's five acres, we're gonna be mixing a uh, four gallon backpack sprayer. We're gonna put four ounces of antler grow and four ounces of MPK, and we're gonna go through and spray this. We're using a 24 volt 
battery powered backpack sprayer. Uh, I found that it's a more consistent spray and it goes, it lasts a lot longer than your standard uh, backpack sprayer that you have to sit there and pump constantly. You get uneven uh, flow rates and a lot of the product or a lot of water necessarily is wasted. So in this case, we're still early in the spring. Uh, we are so far behind with the wind, with the spring, uh, with things greening up. But there are some things coming out, so we're going to kind of take a walk through the property. We're going to spray all the grasses, the weeds, the briars. There's some honeysuckle here, uh, different kind of vines and uh, things like that. And then later in this video, we're going to go over, uh, showed you guys about a month ago, uh, we have a 20 by 20 yard uh, little kill plot that we're going to just go over there and spray some uh, glyphosate on there to kill the grasses. Uh, we came through a month ago and spread about 150 pounds of lime on there. Uh, we're going to be planting a little kill plot there and we're going to be fencing that off to let that grow and mature as much as possible. And then once hunting season comes around, you can take that fence off or whatever that you use to keep the deer out and um, it'll be an awesome kill plot for a few days before you know they they consume all the all your uh, plant there and nibble it down the ground and you're, you don't have anything left but it's just that extra little thing that you guys can do to attract deer to small properties because I know a lot of you a lot of you hunt these types of properties and you're stuck on using um, bait piles and, and this that and the other and a lot of states bait piles and mineral piles are now illegal so antler grow is actually 100% legal in all states it falls under a ag license so it is legal in all states to use if you guys found this video beneficial uh, please give it a thumbs up drop a comment down below let me know how your food plots are coming along and let me know if you guys have any questions uh, you can always send me an email whitetail obsession outdoors the number one at yahoo.com i'll be glad to answer any questions that you have until next time guys i'll see you thanks for following along